Hey everybody, uh, welcome to today's YouTube channel video. Um, we're actually going to do another interview today. So we're actually going to do an interview with one of our local players, um, Steve Hutchins here. So, or as everyone knows him, Hutchie. Welcome, Hutchie. Welcome, y'all. How you going? Very good, thank you, mate. So basically, we're just going to have a chat to Hutchie about his um, life in poker, uh, what he's sort of done, and um, sort of some of the tips and hints that he can give to you guys as um, as new players or as players that have played for a while but want to sort of um, challenge your game a little bit. Um, these videos are more about um, just learning about people and yeah, just learning about things that we do. So, so Hachi, tell us a little bit about um, your poker journey, mate. How did you get started? Uh, I started when I was about 19. Okay, we're pub poker, mate, or what, what were you doing? Pub poker. Yeah, so, so APL? APL. In, in Hamilton, was it? Or? Yeah. So, um, so was it free back then, or was it, um, was it? Did you have to pay, or was it free? free? Yeah. Okay. So, so, um, so for some of you got the guys that don't know, when APL sort of started, when poker really got really big in Australia, um, APL and MPL as well um, came along and did free poker at pubs. So, so that's how you started, mate. Yeah, I started at the Kelly. So, how long have you been playing for now, mate? Uh... Going on nearly 20 years. 20 years. So, what's what's your favourite thing about poker, mate? Like, what's I what, just, why do you play? I just love love playing the game. Yep. Um, what's your? Do you have a most memorable hand, or do you have a? Um, I was at the commercial. we were playing a cash game, um, a tournament, and I had pocket twos and quads, and. One of the players had pocket kings and hit troops. Oh wow! So, so very lucky there, mate. Hit yeah. a hit a one outer. So, yeah. uh, so what what sort of your goals in poker, mate? Like, are you planning to like? I know myself personally want to go over the World Series. Um, I'd love to go over. Yeah, yeah. Um, but is there anything that you sort of haven't done yet that you want to do, other than obviously World Series? No, I wouldn't mind playing the main event. Yep, yep. Um, we were talking about um, Hachi's gonna start coming to a few more events, so. Me and you went to our handoff event a few years ago, didn't we? So, we did. Yeah, and that was fantastic just to sort of get out and about and um, learn a few new things. Um, yes. So give us your best tip, mate, about poker. Like, for new players that are coming up, like, what do you think would be the best way for poker players to learn stuff? Uh, just sit at the table and just watch how they're betting. Yep. Um, do you... Do you recommend, do you do, do you do any study at all, mate? Do you like study uh, videos or do you study posts or? I just do your post, okay, your yeah. post. So yeah, so, so Hachi watches a fair few of our videos as well. So we just sort of, um, yeah, it's really it's really good that Hachi's a good supporter of ours. So he's been to a lot of our events. Um, so what's your favorite hand, mate? Do you have a favorite hand or? Not, not really. really. No, not really. No. Um, a lot of players actually have favourite hands, guys, and they just um, they will always play that hand. I've never been a purveyor of that. I've never said that you should have one. Um, I do have some memorable hands, obviously, but like I, um, I do like aces, but and kings, obviously, like everybody does. Um, but I know certain people have like king sevens and stuff like that, and um, you know, a player that has jack two, jack two, jack yeah, two Walshy. That, Walshy that plays. Um, so yeah, so basically, yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit more about yourself, Hachi. You obviously got a few kids, mate. Yeah, I've got three. Yep. So and I've got Jai. Jai, yep. Yeah. Yep. And you've got a fiance now. Yes, I've got a fiance. And when do you get married, mate? Twenty seventh of April this year. Awesome. So um, it's going to be a big event that one. So um, but they're they're good supporters of yours. Yes, they are. Yep. They're very, very so, good to support. Yeah. So it's always good to have a bit bit of a support team, guys, to get right behind you and um, actually like support your poker journey um because we do have our ups and downs don't we mate we do yeah so yes. um we're actually currently over in mount gambia um we're doing a big series over here this weekend so we're doing a weekend series so um how you're hoping to obviously win hachi but what's your goal this weekend mate uh make make the final table make the final table so yeah. so yeah that's it's always good to actually have a goal guys to every tournament you play it doesn't necessarily mean you want to have to cash every time uh, sometimes that's not the best way to actually make the goal. The best way is to, um, do I want to play this way? Do I want to play that way? Do I want to be tighter? Do I want to be a bit looser? Um, so what events are you planning to play this weekend, mate? Uh, I'm playing the 150 tonight. Yep. So that's what that's that's a deep stack, is it? Or? Yeah. 
Feedback. I think. Feedback. Yeah. 80k or something, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Uh, all right, and then tomorrow you're playing the main event. Yep. Um, and then you what you're playing the teams event, aren't I'm you? Playing the team teams event. Who are you playing the teams event with, mate? Uh, Joe. Joe. Yeah. Joe Nibblet, my yeah. fiance. So that's your fiance. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and hopefully you guys uh, come second because me and Kerry are going to win. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no. And then what you hopefully you're still playing the main event on on the Sunday. Yep. Yeah. Um. Oh well, that's good, mate. I'm. Um, Glad that you um you support you're a very good supporter of not only local events but you've come over to Mount Gambier a few times and um you've also come over to Handorf with me as we've discussed before so yeah. no you're a really good prefer of poker now do you prefer tournament poker or do you prefer cash poker mate? Uh, tournament tournament yeah what's your biggest difference do you reckon in cash and tournament poker? Uh, just new players. Yep. So you like to play against different players. Yep. Yep. Um. Who's your who do you reckon has been your hardest opponent um, in poker? Hardest yep. would be probably Starkey. Starkey, so Starkey's a local player over here in Mount Gambia, so um, so you've always had trouble reading him or yeah, yeah it's okay. hard to read. Who's the easiest player you reckon? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say me then. <laughs> but, so so you've obviously done a fair bit in poker, mate. Um, and yeah, um, you've obviously been really good with the different venues in the southwest. Um, what's your favourite venue? Alexander House. Alexander House in yeah. Hamilton. So we do. We actually run a local game there every Monday night, guys. So um, that's a really good little shout out to Alexander House. But um, and the RSL is really good too. So the RSL in Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, that's a monthly game that we play. Um, you are looking to go up to Queensland this year though, aren't you? Hopefully. Yes. Yep. yes. So you're going to try and win an APL million ticket and go up to Queensland. So um, hopefully you can do that, mate. Thank you. Hopefully you can do that and um, get a big win on the board. Um, what's it going to take to get you over to the World Series of Poker, you reckon? You're going to have to win a big tournament? You'll have to win a big one. Yeah, yeah. So I'll take your family. Yeah, so obviously being the buy-in of the World Series is 10 US dollars. So for us Australians, it's about 16 k I think. Yeah, so I think that's about the... So um, obviously most people have to win a big tournament to try and get over there, but yeah. Um, but there are definitely def good venues and good um, tournaments around this area as well. So um, if you are looking to play some poker tournaments in and around Victoria, um, there, there's a poker house called Gambia Poker. That's where we're at this weekend. They're really good. Um, over in South Australia, there's uh, Southern Poker Tours. Southern they're, Poker. They're fantastic as well. Awesome. Um, you've, got, you've got us, which is obviously Yol Poker, <coughs> which you guys know about because you're watching this video. Um, you've also got APL events as well, so there's plenty of there's events. plenty of poker. Uh, APL. Um, and they do start running some big deep stacks and stuff now, so they've really come on board and uh, they're running some better events as well, not just your weekly pub poker events. But those pub poker events are important though. Uh, it does teach you how to play the game and does teach you all about the little ins and outs of poker. Um, it is 12 minute blinds on a lot of these venues, like with the smaller tournaments, so you do have to contend against that. But um, just pick and choose your tournaments. I think that's probably the that's best, best thing. Best yeah. thing is pick and choose your tournaments and don't play every tournament that you can see. Um, you you know what your game is and you know what's gonna work for you best. If you're a really solid rock player, you don't wanna be playing 12 minute blinds because you just won't get enough hands. You won't see enough hands. Um, how do you describe yourself as a player, mate? Do you um, do you find yourself as a loose aggressive player, tight aggressive, like, or are you a rock, or what are you sort of thinking? Uh, I play. Sometimes I play tight. Sometimes I just play loose. Yeah. So do you change you change that up I with change, cash game? Yeah, I yeah. change my strategy. Yeah. So cash games and tournaments are obviously a very different guys. So you got to make sure that you're changing different strategies. Uh, so for example, this weekend. You're probably going to err on the top side of tightness a little bit more, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the so, uh, stacks are deeper, the blind levels are deeper, so you can't be playing it like it's 15 minute blinds. Uh, I think it's 30 minute blinds, isn't it? Next main event. Yes, yeah, it's 30 minute blinds. So, yeah. so hopefully we can both cash in these events. Um, just keep updated with all of us. Obviously, um, I'm going to be doing a few shorts and stuff. Um, but before we sign off, Hachi, is there one tip that you can give to these players? that's going to make them better poker players? Yeah, just play well. Just play well? Yeah. Um, play well, keep 
um, keep your game on point. Make sure you actually keep um, constructive criticism yes. of your game. Yep. Um, and you've got to, that's the one thing that I always preach to everyone, guys, is that you've got to be working on your game every every week. Um, there's no point playing the same way for ten years. You like poker changes, players yes. change. Yep. Like when I started playing, I started playing what. Uh, about 18 years ago now. Yeah. I had a bit of a break, but I started playing 18 years ago, and the poker that's getting played now is so much better than what it was getting played back then. Way better. Oh, back then we um, we thought we all knew how to play yeah. poker, and none of us knew anything. So, no. Um, but yeah, no, we really appreciate you watching this video. Hutchie, thank you very much for doing you're this welcome. video with me. No, you're um, and yeah, if you see Hutchie around the table, say hi to him. He's a friendly fella. Um, just don't get it in against him if, if you've got ace two, because he'll probably beat you with ace queen. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Hachi. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, good luck on the felt if you're playing this weekend or if, if you're playing or whatever. I hope you have a good time on the felt. And, yeah, enjoy.